Neil, how are the boys ahead of this crucial qualifier? Well, obviously, they seem to have been a good place. You know, they had a great victory and a great performance, you know, at the weekend. So we know the significance and the importance of the game now. So they're very, very focused. A positive result in Romania, of course, and five goals on Saturday. How pleasing is it to see how confident the whole team seemed to be in front of goal, you know, not relying on that one or two strikers to get on the end of chances? Well, I'm delighted, you know, that we're scoring from different areas, obviously with five different goal scorers at the weekend. I think, you know, it's important that the, the strikers are in good form and Odson and Lee have started this, the season brilliantly. And then you've got the, the backup of the likes of Christie, Forrest, McGregor, you know, Johnson, they're all weighing in with goals, which is great. You know, you're not going to win seven and five every week, but it was important we made a really good start, and it's been, you know, probably beyond my expectations the start that we've made so far. I haven't said that, I'm not sure if you're aware of, of this stat. You know, Celtic, of course, 12 league goals already by the 10th of August. Last season, we hadn't managed to do that until the, the 7th of October. Is this something that, that you were keen to, to focus on, keeping the play dynamic, getting the ball forward as quick as we can? Yeah, I think so. I think you know the players are capable of playing that way. However, you know, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, the, the, the scoreline, so long as you're on the, the positive end of it. I'm very pleased, obviously, that we are scoring the, the volume of goals and our finishing has been so clinical. Like I said, it may not last forever, but um, it, you know, it's important that we in the right areas, create the right chances and um, you know we're not always going to score the perfect goal because every goal is perfect, you know the end outcome is exactly the same and I think that's what we've been trying to emphasise to the players maybe to you know take more shots at goal because they're capable of doing that. Cluj of course a better side than we tend to come up against domestically, we saw their threat in the first leg, what are you especially keen on guarding against? Well we got to defence that play as well um, and they do like to get the ball you know, forward quickly and cross the ball quickly. Uh, we must stop crosses if we can, you know, at, at source, because they look to put the ball in early. And, you know, they did score a very good goal on the counter-attack in the away leg, and we have to obviously be mindful of that as well. Yeah, we've got players who can play on the counter ourselves, and James Forrest is, is one with pace and trickery and skill. Goals as well. Again, a stat, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but his goal against Motherwell means he's the first player since Paul McStay to score in 11 consecutive league campaigns for Celtic. Just a word on, on James and his loyalty to the club. A loyalty, I think he loves it here. You know, and I think he's been treated really well. I think he has a great connection. The fans love him. And he has been an outstanding player and will continue to be an outstanding player here. That's quite a remarkable stat. You know, it shows the consistency that he's shown over you know, his time here. And, you know, we want him to continue in the same vein. He's a, you know, I brought him through, so I know what a great player he is. And he's matured into a top, top player now. You said to me after the game in Romania that you need the crowd to play their part too in this match. Are we talking about not just cheering on the team, but also having a bit of patience? Yeah, patience might be a key, you know. Um, what I want from the crowd is just the noise, you know, like they always bring on a European night and make it hot for any opposition. Next one's Cluj, obviously. So we're hoping for a loud night and the players can feed off of that. Recently at the fans' Q&A at the Celtic FC Festival, you spoke about the importance that you place on making sure we're playing top-level European football. It's something you're passionate about for those that, that might think domestic dominance is enough. Yeah, I just think, you know, these games are difficult. We're doing the hard yards at the minute. I think for the gravitas of the club, I think it needs to be in the Champions League. I'm not saying that it's a foregone conclusion. We have a lot of work to do. But to, to get there, if we can, and it's still hypothetical at the minute, you know, it just opens up the whole season, not just for the supporters, but for the players and all my coaching staff as well. All the best. Thanks, Jerry.